Hello and welcome to the 10th Android video. In the last video we managed to draw the coins in a different way at the ground, changed the gravity of the player and we also fixed a bug that occurs when we exit our application. So what we're gonna do in this video is that we are gonna change our game to port landscape mode like the tilted screen and we are also gonna draw more coins, we're gonna make them spawn every 30 sec 13 seconds or so, maybe not that much, but yeah. So let's get started. We're gonna start by going into our Android manifest file. And we're gonna change so the game is drawn in that skip mode. We're gonna do this by going to the activity part. And we're gonna type Android screen orientation equal to landscape. And we're also gonna type Android config changes and set that to orientation keyboard hidden and we're just gonna run this fast to see if it actually works it should but you never know as you can see our screen is tilted now and everything works as it should so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna create coins in the game we're gonna go into our game view file we're gonna add two new variables with private int I just one for now private int timer coins we're gonna set that to zero for now we're also gonna create a new method we're gonna add it in our update part we're gonna add update timers we're going to create our void update timers here and every time we the screen redraws itself we're going to add one to our timer coins and here we're going to make, make a little if statement if timer coins more than or equal to let's say 100 for now we're going to create a new int random coin I'm oh, sorry random random coin I'm gonna create a new integer value and we're gonna call it random I'm gonna set random equal to random coin dot next int equals to new random next int of let's say free we're gonna make, make a little switch statement switch random and if our value equals to one we're gonna add some coins we're gonna make a new int variable int current coin that to one then we're gonna make a while loop while current coin less than or equal to five as long as it is, it is less than or equal to five we're gonna do this actually we can do this over here we're gonna add another one in xx set that to one Maybe not, sorry about that. We're gonna set current coin plus plus and x6 plus plus. What happens when we run this is that we're gonna add a new coin, coins.add new coin. That this gave you the coin BMP. We're gonna add it outside our view, the width of the screen. Canvas.get Sorry, I almost typed canvas. We're gonna type this dot get width plus one times sorry thirty two times xx and the y position will be thirty two.
do do that. So if it is equal to one, we're gonna add five coins in a row after row after each other. Then we're gonna break it. Then in case two, we're gonna add int current coin equal to one, int xx equal to one. And here we're gonna add four other coins. Okay. We just to add. I will not need XX over here. Because of that new coin, this comma coin BP comma this dot get width plus forty two. As I said, we're gonna add five coins. Every time we're gonna increase the x value by 36, 32, sorry. And 60. And we're gonna make them go diagonally, diagonally I think it's called. And now we're gonna try and run the game. It's gonna set timer coins to zero again, so it doesn't spawn too many coins. You know what? Maybe one hundred is a bit much. Since we're just gonna test to see if it works, we're gonna set it to fifty. Now we, when it reaches around two hundred fifty or seven hundred fifty, I think now. It should spawn coins, hopefully. One, two, three, four, five coins. And it should spawn new coins now. We're gonna see if we can get other type of coin. We're just gonna wait and see. There we go. Two different coins types of spawns. And now it didn't spawn end one because we set it to three, but it should spawn new one. It didn't spawn new because we could have both one, two, and three. And we only had two cases. So if you want to spawn coins every time, you're gonna have to make a new case and call it three. But we're gonna leave it like this for now, and we're gonna just gonna increase this to one hundred fifty. I believe that is all we're going to do for this tutorial. No. Also, what we're going to do now is that when our coin goes outside of the screen, we're going to destroy it from game view. We go to coin. The effect is less than our... Yes, we're going to remove this. Okay, first of all, we're gonna return our X position. Return X. And we're gonna do this, where we check every step of the coin. We're gonna check if coins dot re. Coins dot get i dot return x if the exposition of the current coin is less than o minus thirty two we're gonna destroy it coins dot get i dot Gonna check how we destroyed our object. Coins that remove. Oh. Hmm. 
Now, every time my code goes outside of the screen, from the left side, it's gonna destroy itself. So we're just gonna run application. As you can see, the code doesn't go back. Oh, what happened now? We're gonna break the... Because if we remove it and we later check if we're later gonna check if the if it, the collision occurs between the two objects, but the object doesn't exist, so it returns an error. Hopefully, it will work now. Another one got destroyed, and it didn't return an error. And we could still pick up our coin. Just for safety, we're also gonna break the statement here. So, I believe that is all we're gonna do for this video. We have managed to create random coins spawning, and we have changed the, the mode of the game to landscape. In the next video, we're gonna fix the problem with our game loop. Basically, what it does now is that it runs as fast as it can. So if you're playing it on a good device, you might have an FPS of 100, and that is way much than we actually want to have. We want to have it around 30 as we said here. But our thread isn't working as it is supposed to, so I'm gonna try and fix that for the next video. And I'm gonna post how I fixed it. If we have time, we're also gonna uh, save our high score after the end of the game. So keeps itself when we close the application. I would also take a moment to say thanks to all of you that are watching. The channel has grown much faster than I expected. Just today I have gained 20 new subscribers at around 600 views. That is way more than I expected. So thank you all for following the channel. I hope you like the tutorials. Stay tuned for new ones, they're gonna come soon. And also check out my brother's channel if you want to watch games of games like League of Legends, WoW or Minecraft. Bye bye everybody. Have a happy new year. Have a nice day. Bye bye.